Members have narrowly voted to accept the mediator's recommendation for central table bargaining. And here are the results. We had 22,921 total valid votes. 51.1% voted in favor, 48.3% voted against. 120 voters abstained. While these results tell us that the mediator's recommendations are something that teachers are willing to live with, it is clear that teachers have run out of patience and future bargaining must address these priorities like class size and composition. We know that most teachers, regardless of how they voted, feel that the mediator's recommendations were inadequate. The results clearly show that this offer is an absolute minimum that teachers are willing to accept. We spent the last four weeks traveling around the province, hosting online meetings and listening to the concerns of teachers. They told us they have significant concerns about classroom conditions that simply must be addressed. They have concerns about the way that teachers, the profession, and our students have been treated by this government and previous governments. This result communicates to TIBA and the government that teachers' concerns on these important issues cannot be ignored in the future. We will continue to advocate and press government about the issues around class size and conditions as we always have. We've never actually stopped working on trying to get government to move either through bargaining or through policy of addressing the needs of our students in our classrooms. And that'll be a focus of the association and our membership as we move into this provincial election in 2023. We have individuals in this province who want to lead this province who are not um, paying attention to the needs of teachers in their classrooms. And that'll be a the work that we will do over the next uh, several months to make sure that we make education an issue and that we try to address this issue in policy of, of government as we move forward. It's important to note that we you know while these while these results are telling us that the media's reports are something that teachers are willing to live with, it's also clear that teachers have run out of patience and that future bargaining rounds that will begin uh, in 2024 for Central Table, priorities like class size and composition need to be addressed. The mandate is going to be key and advancements on those key issues and, and learning conditions are going to be a must have. And now that we have central table set for this upcoming round, that local bargaining and the 61 individual school boards will soon begin and preparations for the next round of central table bargaining will commence in January 2024.